when it's hot and your scrotum just has to endure it. What type of animal is that? It definitely looks like a scrotum. <laughs> Today, we are back at it, breaking down and reacting to what I am told are medical memes that only guys will understand. Hmm, we'll see about that. All right, let's dive right in. You go to feel your testicles. They're not there. <laughs> I'd be dilated the other direction if I couldn't feel them. The other component is the pupillary constriction. Typically, we see this in somebody who is having opiate overdose versus the opposite if you are very up and excited, you'll actually get dilation. Milk makes your bones stronger. Eight-year-old me thinking how my skeleton will look like if I drank milk. <laughs> so this meme is trying to depict that these muscles are supposedly in large bones. No, they are not. Does milk actually make your bones stronger as we get older? There's more research out there that there's some interplay with calcium. To get those kind of muscles, one, it's partly genetic. The other is activity, diet, lifestyle, many different things. And it doesn't happen overnight. You actually have to work for it to get those muscles. You have to lift a lot of weights. And then being able to see them, you have to stay lean and keep your body fat low. You ever sit for so long that your butt feels like this? <laughs> you're sitting on what's called your ischial tuberosities. Yes, if you're sitting on a surface for a long period of time, it could be quite discomforting and feel like your bones are coming out of your body. The pain you might be feeling is the maybe beginning of some breakdown of tissue. So just adjust and move off of that tissue to give it a break. Quick, before the next meme, hit that subscribe button. Are girls called chicks because they produce eggs or because they love What, what kind, kind of, of meme, meme is, is that? that? This is kind of offensive in the sense of we call them a name because they just reproduce. No, they're a human being that has the ability to be able to reproduce. They don't have to. Puberty approaches thymus. Goodbye. <laughs> Your thymus is a gland that sits kind of up here and it's big when we're young and it gets smaller and smaller as we age. It slowly disappears over time. And the thymus is very important in developing our immune system and white blood cells. Girls, if boys don't use toilet paper to wipe off their pee, what do they do? Boys. It's one of those like timers for keeping time. I used that when I was playing piano when I was a kid. There's an old joke. If you're shaking more than twice, you're playing with it kind of thing. But basically you're trying to shake out the extra pee that could be at the tip. But the problem is individuals that have a penis typically make a little bit more mess. So just be wary, be aware of that. Not with that rhythm, just live. <laughs> So it's an EKG strip and it is quite an abnormal rhythm on there. I've never seen a tattoo like that, but I've seen people with abnormal rhythms like that. That typically turn into something disastrous. This technique has saved us a lot of embarrassment. <laughs> Look up the statistics. An erection happens quite often on a daily basis. And then you start daydreaming, especially going through puberty, especially sitting in class all day. And then all of a sudden the bell rings and you gotta get up and you're like, uh oh, so you gotta tuck it. Is it true most men pee on the doo-doo stains in the toilet to knock them off? <laughs> Who the F out here telling secrets? That's funny. I do it too. At least you're aiming in the right place and why not use your urine to help clean the toilet bowl? Friday you clean the toilet. Most of the time guys get blamed anyway for making it dirty. When she finally moves her big ass head off your arm. Oh my God. <laughs> It doesn't really even have to be that big. It can just be in a funky position and you're causing some decreased blood flow. You're also irritating the nerve and you're getting numbness, tingling to that arm. It falls asleep, it's painful. Men turn 30, their nose hairs coming out. Vengeance. I've seen many videos where people are sticking this weird wax up the nose and in the ears. I probably wouldn't do that. Increased risk of infection, pain, bleeding. The nose hairs have multiple purposes, protecting the inside of your nose, the, even your ear hair. Also, it acts almost like a filtration device. So don't go ripping those bad boys out too much. Maybe trim them so they're not unsightly. Men 50 and older, doctors. <laughs> 
Unfortunately, it's probably not 50 and older. It's probably less than that now. The good old prostate check. So you're checking the prostate, make sure it's not uh, any abnormal lumps in there, making sure it's not enlarged. And then if it is, it needs to be monitored and follow checking for prostate cancer. In the morning, whole day. <laughs> I'm assuming we're talking about the morning wood or the male erection in the morning. Morning erections are quite normal, even nocturnal overnight erections are quite normal. You probably still get erections during the day. It just has to do with your focus and what's going on during the day. My heart, writing a cold email, hitting send, see a response in your inbox. It's actually a funny depiction of someone's anxiety and nervousness, AKA palpitations that potentially could occur. People come to the emergency department all the time for rapid heartbeats, palpitations, weird arrhythmias, and it can be caused by many different things. And you'll get a full workout relating to your heart that we can do in the emergency department that does need to be followed up by a cardiologist because some of the exams we cannot get done in the emergency department in that moment. It doesn't just happen to boys, it happens to everybody. Hand sanitizer, one drop kills 99.9% .9 of germs. Me puts two drops. Germs is the kid. I don't fully understand this one. Maybe you can help me out in the comments, but I can tell you that kids are very germy in the sense of they just harbor lots of infections, viruses, and they're not clean. They snot everywhere. It is a normal part of life. It's how we protect our bodies by seeing the germs and having a defense against it. When it's hot and your scrotum just has to endure it. What type of animal is that? It definitely looks like a scrotum. <laughs> when it's hot outside, the testicles wanna be away from your body because it's trying to cool itself. So the scrotum thins out and elongates. And this kind of looks like that. People get sweaty down there, sweaty groins, sweaty scrotums, and there's different techniques to try to keep it dry. Baby powder being one using the appropriate type of cloth and clothing uh, down there. I've done a whole video on this. Me, when the doctor gives me some pills for my depression, are you sure this will work? Ha <laughs> ha, I have no idea. There's a ton of different medications out there and some work for some people, some don't, and they say, just try this or try that. And it's probably related to your own chemistry in your body and how it reacts. Okay, memes, memes, memes for days. I get, I understand some of them. Some will go way over my head and I have no idea. I definitely need your help, but they're always fun to talk about. And if you guys enjoyed that, definitely binge watch this series right here, this whole playlist. And as always, make sure that you subscribe, turn your bell notifications on and hit that like button for me. Thank you so much for watching and stay healthy, my friends.